I'm going to really get you on the Disney trivia at this point then. Um, okay. I've got a stack of Disney records right here beside me. I'm going to hold up a Disney record and name a song from the record. And we're going to see if you're able to play it. Cause I want oh to test God. that encyclopedic knowledge. Um, first one, since we are in Halloween, have a haunted mansion, um, ring grinning ghost. Tombstone's quake, spooks the mouth of screaming quake, eyes, start to shriek, and arm and eyes, ring, ring, and goes, the mouth to socialize. I don't know what the magic is. <laughs> that's a solid, no, that's perfect. That's, uh, that's so great. Um, okay. Next one I got, we have Aladdin, A Whole New World. Ooh. I like this game. I, I like <laughs> you're doing, I mean, you're two for two so far. So I know it's not going to uh, last, but we'll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next we're going in the Enchanted Tiki Room. All right. I love that. I don't know if this is going to be video anywhere, but I love that you have all these actual records. That's so awesome. Well, then, all the birds sing words and the flowers drone in the tick 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 room. On my live stream show, we play a couple of drinking games for fun because what were people going to do over quarantine? And that was one of the more intense ones because you're supposed to drink whenever I said tiki. So we got very sloppy on the stream after that oh. song. <laughs> I can okay. only imagine that is that's a very dangerous game that is I mean mm -hmm. very solid though we had um my friend we just had her bachelorette party and she was proposed to an Epcot and she wanted to do a drinking thing where everyone who showed up showed up with the signature drink of a country in Epcot and then we drank around the world at the bachelorette party it was there I was like a, that a long long that's drinking a... game that evening <laughs> Um, okay, I know we talked a little bit about Little Mermaid earlier, so we got to hit hit it next. Um, let's go with Ooh. the classic part of your world. Ooh, all right, let me think. Look at the stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl, girl who has everything? <laughs> little mermaid that's that's a solid one <laughs> okay next next one we're gonna go a little bit outside of your exit here um epcot center journey into the imagination with figment oh with just one spark of inspiration to zap the heart of all creation right at the start of everything that's new with just one spark lights up for you <laughs> oh i mean we have i think we are like six in and you have not missed a single one so it's gonna it's gonna, it's, it's gonna happen i will take the luck while it lasts but it's just there's to, a lot of music out there i'm like i need to make this a little bit harder no don't make um, it harder let's go mulan um I'll make a man out of you. Oh, I don't know if I can do it without a chart in front of me. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Didn't they send me daughters when I asked the Huns? It's going to a pathetic lot. You threw Mr. I'll make a man out of you. I'm, I'm going to give you a half point on that. Well, we, we dropped some point. lyrics, but we got the melody going. So <laughs> we're going to half count that one. I'll, I'll tell you what, at this point, there's some too. If I know what's coming up, I'm like, all right, let me just look at those lyrics real quick and get them in my head. And then I'll, and then I'll do it. But I like, oh, I like this where I got to just rapid fire it and see what I got. Right. <laughs> Why are 
were there so many songs about rainbows, but on the other side. <laughs> Rainbow connection. I'm going to double point that just because of the fact that you did the full on Kermit voice. I, I try to Kermit the Frog. I never, I never do a Kermit voice. I don't think I do voice as well, but I know that that's what the people want for that song. That's what they need. Absolutely. And that's the whole thing The you performing at Jelly Rolls, all of the places that you perform, you tune into those audience needs. That's why the, you get those pack houses at Jelly Rolls <laughs> on Sunday nights. Um, now we're going to talk about those early 2000 kids needs on this next one, because uh -oh. Uh -oh. we got high school musical. Can we okay. do, let's see. Oh, the, uh, well, uh, what I've been looking for, that's the main song for high school musical probably. So Ooh. I think breaking free is, but I will see your, um, well, well let's go breaking free. I was curious if I, if I knew the other one too. Uh, breaking free, I know I got. The sure and flying, there's not a star in heaven we can't reach. If we're trying, now we're breaking free. I'm embarrassed to say I know that whole song inside and out, but <laughs> I'm. <laughs> That is not an embarrassing thing to say because that, that was the one I'm like, okay, if I'm going to get them on anything, it's going to be High School Musical. We're getting into like the fringe Disney properties, but no. So High, high School Musical was pretty big when I was also still a cast member at Hollywood Studios. So it was kind of unavoidable. So the, the, the first High School Musical played way too much around me. Well, did they have the live show at that time? Mm-hmm. They didn't have it at the time of my college program, but I stayed part time all the way till 2009. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a good good one to uh, get stuck in your head, though. Um, let's go. Mary Poppins, super califragilistic expialidocious. Ooh. Super califragilistic expialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you sing it loud enough, it always sounds precocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. I honestly, I do not think I have any in here that I can stump you with at this point. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You've you gone very wrong. You could, you could have gone a totally different direction. Oh, I mean, they, they can get crazier, but this is, <laughs> I mean, you have not. Um, let's hit back with the one that every cast member, pretty much every Disney fan knows at the bottom of their heart. They've heard it every time. Great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Oh, yes. And that became the song that I did as the very last song on all my live streams, too. Especially, oh, during, the, especially during the pandemic, because I felt mm -hmm. it was... It had one of the most important messages I felt, especially during that time. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. And there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. When it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. I mean, that if that's happened. the one that closes out the live stream, I think we should close out with that one because I don't think I can top that <laughs> one. With it. I mean, you can't really top the Sherman Brothers. No, um, that that D Disney legends, those guys. So, Rob, I just want to thank you for taking the time to talk a little bit about, you know, obviously everyone's really excited. Jelly Rolls reopening, taking time to step back through memory lane and relive some of those wonderful nights full of packed houses and just engaging in all of these songs and really testing that encyclopedic Disney knowledge, which you obviously definitely have. Disney, um, mu Disney music is some of the best music ever written. So more power to it. It's amazing. I'll always listen to it.